that there are several imp improvements uh, to the Newton Raphson method that uh, we have come up with in uh, on the last uh, 80 to 100 years and those improvements uh, to look at those improvements you can go and uh, you know use various sources and one of very good sources to start off with is uh, numerical recipes. in C or Fortran that is the name of the textbook okay. Uh, this is one a textbook that you can refer it is a very very good resource for all numerical techniques uh, and uh, it is available on the website nr.com. So, you can go to the website nr.com and uh, take a look at the numerical recipes textbook. Uh, of course, the numerical recipes textbook is not free. Uh, uh, freely available for on the website uh, I believe it is uh, something like 19 dollars or something like that to, uh, to download the latest copy of the numerical recipes textbook. The earlier versions uh, the ed second edition of numerical recipes textbook uh, I believe are available uh, for free to, uh, for free to download. So, you can go to nr.com and download uh, essentially editions edi second edition and I believe uh, that is numerical recipes and Fortran that is the second edition that is available uh, for download from nr.com uh, and it is a very good resource uh, if, if uh, uh, numerical if you want to understand uh, or use numerical recipes in a better way. Uh, likewise if you want to just use some of the numerical techniques then there is another website called netlib dot org. This is uh, an online repository of a lot of uh, numerical numerical codes that uh, including linear algebra, nonlinear equation solving, ODE solving and so on uh, that is available freely for downloading. Uh, you can go to netlib dot org and choose an appropriate uh, solver if, if you are going to use any kind of a, a complicated problems that, that, that you intend to solve. The objective of uh, this particular lectures is to give you an overview of uh, the uh, or an introduction to the numerical uh, numerical methods to computational techniques. So, that uh, you can get the confidence to go and look at some of the, uh, the more advanced methods uh, that, that are being, being used. Okay. So, anyway the, the improvements to the Newton Raphson's method uh, there are several uh, ways in which uh, uh, people have figured out how to improve the Newton Raphson method and all of them are for looking for particular set of problems. Uh, one of the improvements uh, that, that was done that was uh, done uh, by Ralston essentially is for let us say we have f of x versus x and if we plot say f of x and let us arbitrarily this is the kind of curve that f of x we get where f of x is going to intersect sec the x axis at multiple points. Now, we know that uh, Newton Raphson's method starting from a, a, a uh, an, an initial guess which is close enough to the solution converges very quickly to the solution there is a second order convergence to any of the solution. However, if a Newton Raphson's method is going to be used in order to find the multiple solutions uh, uh, to this uh, to the equation f x equal to 0 it fares quite poorly. Uh, it, it does not converge as quickly as, uh, as one, one, one would like. So, what, uh, what researchers figured out in uh, 19, 1970s late 1970s uh, essentially is, is the that we have the, the equation x i plus 1 equal to x i minus f i divided by f dash i. Okay, this is uh, a typical Newton Raphson's method. What we can do um, a, a slight modification to this particular method could be to multiply this with some per factor m and the question is what, what is the factor m that we choose uh, and Ralston essentially uh, uh, came up with this m should be the number of uh, solutions that you get the number of times that this particular curve 
intersects the x axis. So, in this particular case the m that I am going to use is going to be 4 in order to get the fourth solution uh, to f x equal to a equal to 0 and by using this particular method they have found that uh, uh, by, by choosing m equal to 1 they will be able to get the first solution very quickly in order to go to the second solution you, cho you choose a different value of m uh, uh, in order to improve the convergence rate. The problem with choosing this m is in general when you are given when you are when we are given uh, a general f of x we do not know a priori how many times this f of x is going to intersect uh, intersect the x axis and if that information is not known a priori we may not really be able to use uh, m equal to 4 uh, for example in the in this in this particular case if we do not know that four roots of this particular equation exist okay so that is one uh, one issue with with this particular method uh, but what the same researchers realize is that if the solution to f of x equal to 0 and the solution to f of x divided by f dash of x equal to 0 these two functions have the same solutions okay it can be numerically be proved that the function f of x divided by f dash of x has the same solution as the function f of x uh, f of x equal to 0 so what these guys did is instead of using this particular way of solving things they defined a new function uh, let us call h of x they defined h of x as nothing but is defined as f of f x divided by f dash of x okay this is going to be our uh, our h of x and now the objective instead of finding the solution of f of x the objective is now changed to find the solution of h of x and that is that is uh, be becomes a new problem. So, what, what we can have is x of i plus 1 is going to be equal to x of i minus h of x of i divided by h dash of x of i okay and this is going to have uh, for the function h of x this will have the same convergence properties as the newton raphson's method but in order to get the solution of f of x uh, this will have a faster rate of convergence uh, than the original newton raphson's method which was essentially xi plus 1 equal to xi minus h of x of i okay uh, so uh, what we can then do is we can expand this h prime as nothing but uh, f prime squared minus f multiplied by f double prime uh, divided by uh, f, pi, f prime squared that is what we will get over here and h is nothing but f divided by f prime and we can rearrange and we can get this, this overall expression and uh, if you are interested in knowing you can look at uh, this particular method in any of the standard standard text, uh, textbooks uh, uh, that follow. So, we will we'll just look at what, what this particular expression by using this would, would mean our h dash as I said is going to be uh, f dash multiplied by f dash which is f dash squared minus f multiplied by f double dash divided by uh, f dash squared okay. This is what our h, h dash is going to be. So, h divided by h dash uh, is uh, uh, going so h by h dash is going to be nothing but uh, f by f dash divided by f dash squared minus f f double dash and this whole thing divided by f dash squared. So, you take f dash squared over here. So, uh, uh, to the numerator and you will get f dash and one of the f dash f dashes will get cancelled. So, this will get cancelled along with this and then when you take f dash on to the numerator you will essentially get f f dash 
okay so this is going to be our h divided by h dash uh, so using that equation and if you haven't followed the derivation what i, I suggest you can you, you can do is take a piece of pen uh, pen and paper and rederive it yourself uh, more slowly but what we can get is x i plus 1 equal to x i minus f i f prime i divided by f prime i squared minus f i and f double prime i okay and this is going to be our improved newton raphson method okay let us define our function f of x as e equal to f square of x okay so we have just squared this particular function now f of x because it's just square is going to always be positive except when x is the solution to f of x equal to 0 when f of x is going to be equal to 0 our capital f x is going to also be equal to 0 for all other values of uh, f of x our capital f x is going to be uh, positive so for example for a general function of this sort this sort if this is f versus x our f capital f versus x is going to be something like this where this and this are the same values so if we call this as the solution x bar this is going to be the same as x bar so x bar is the minima so x bar is the minima of f which is defined as uh, going to be equal to uh, going to be equal to f square and we can use essentially this property in order to get uh, an improvement in uh, the newton newton raphson's uh, newton raphson's method and the improvement in newton raphson's method using this particular property has gotten to do with the first and second derivatives of this function uh, uh, function f, uh, f of x uh, this is a little bit more advanced for uh, for the sake of our course i'm just mentioning it so that uh, some of you who are interested in uh, learning the newton raphson's method can then go ahead and uh, look at some of the more advanced versions of uh, of the newton raphson's method and again the first place where you can start off with is the numerical recipes by uh, press et al the, that book would be a good source to start off with uh, going into more advanced topics uh, in uh, the nonlinear equation, uh, nonlinear equation solving, okay, and uh, one of the more straightforward ways of getting around, uh, and this this is basically using this result. Uh, what the result that I'm going to show next is uh, is something that comes out of uh, out of that uh, out of uh, this particular result itself is for a multivariable case. What we had said was what we had derived is x i plus 1 was equal to x i uh, minus j inverse f computed at uh, at the value i okay so this is what we had we had derived and this derivation worked extremely well when as long as uh, j was non singular that means as long as uh, the ra rank of the matrix j was e equal to n uh, this particular case worked really well uh, however if the rank of uh, the matrix j is not going to be uh, is not going to be equal to l then we need a slight modification to this uh, keep in mind that this again again i'm using pedagogical liberties over here i'm not using mathematically correct terms uh, over here but this we can actually write this as j transpose j inverse multiplied by j transpose okay as long as uh, the, the uh, rank of the matrix j is going to be uh, positive 
uh, as long sorry as long as rank of matrix j is going to be equal to n uh, this particular guy is going to reduce to nothing but j inverse okay but this is where a small trick comes in is instead of writing it in this particular form we write it as follows we will write this as j transpose j plus beta times i inverse j transpose okay so what we have done is we have introduced a small perturbation parameter beta over here uh, so that whenever this j transpose j starts getting uh, uh, close to being singular we can use an appropriate beta value to give that small perturbation in the slope so what happens when j transpose j is singular or when f dash is zero is we reach a maxima of this sort and this is where basically the the tangent line is parallel to the x axis so what this does is in the multivariable case it gives a slight slope and by giving it a slight slope uh, we will prevent the overall method from uh, stopping when j is not going to be invertible okay so that's the whole idea over here and the expression remaining terms remain the same as we had in uh, the uh, original version of newton raphson's and that term that is going to be xi plus 1 is going to be equal to xi minus j trans uh, j transpose j plus beta i inverse of that multiplied by j transpose multiplied by uh, uh, sorry multiplied by f of xi okay and this is basically uh, called the Leuenberger Marquardt method of uh, solving nonlinear equations. Okay, so we end our um, uh, this particular lecture over here. What we have co covered in this lecture is essentially multivariable ex uh, extension for fixed point iteration. We saw that the fixed point iteration had a linear rate of convergence for multivariable system. We also saw the stringent uh, conditions for uh, uh, the sufficient conditions for stability of uh, uh, the fixed point iteration. Then we went over to multivariable case of uh, Newton Raphson's method. And uh, in the last 10 or 15 minutes, I gave a very brief uh, and a very superficial, I may add, introduction to. Uh, the extensions that we can have to Newton Raphson's method, the Ralston's extension and the Leuenberger Marquardt extension. The idea behind covering this extensions is uh, for people who want to read further in order to get more uh, more information about this, uh, you can you can now go ahead and read some of the literature and perhaps try to make sense of it. Okay, thank you very much.